Hello everyone and welcome to our day 7 here in Orlando and today we're at the Orlando International Premium Outlets Now Vicky is a very excited very, girl Very, excited Yeah, we're going to be showing you all the shops that we're going to be going into Bath and Body Works, Bath and Body Works being <laughs> one That's the main one obviously if you're in yeah, it Vic yeah. um, And obviously a couple of others We'll let you know obviously where we're going and show you all the little shops that we do go into mm -hmm. But come and join us in the Orlando International Premium Outlets Okay, so we've just entered the outlets. What we're going to do first is we're going to head to the food court because we're going to grab a map so we can make our route and show, make sure we basically see every shop that we want to. So let's head to the food court. Let's go and grab our map. So if you come inside the food court, you'll see the Simon guest services and you should be able to find yourself a map from here. There we go. Grab one of them. Okay, so map secured, we're going to start our day off in the Disney's Character Warehouse outlet shop see if there's any little steals in there. So we've got a few Disney earrings, ears here. Earrings? Anything special? Can't see. I don't think anything's jumping out. That one's not too bad. 12 99 but not the best. I don't think there's anything special there. So you have a couple of lounge fly bags here. Star Wars one. Oh, let's see what they say it is. It says 78, but well, hmm. I don't know if that's. It doesn't say anywhere if it's actually reduced, does it? Oh, uh, it might, that's the thing. Oh no, it says here. There you go. Can't believe I missed that. So, they're all about $30, $35 there. Not, not the worst, yeah, if you like any of them designs. That Spider Man's quite cool, to be fair. You can see there's only one left of that. Any cool mugs? That one's similar to our mm. one that we got at NASA. How much is that? Seven ninety nine. So not a bad price actually. So I think it is the Epcot Food and Wine Festival drinks. That one. This one's quite cool. So, do you know the character? Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, I don't. Anyone on that character they can let me know. Not the biggest Disney fans, are we? <laughs> Just thought I'll have a look and show anything inside here. Yeah, so nothing special really in Disney character where I shop there. To be fair, every time I go in, I don't really find anything. If you if you do, let, let me know. I don't, I don't know if you, if we're not really looking for the right things. I don't know. I usually look at the ears, the lounge fly bags to see if there's anything cool there. Obviously, in your outlets, you're going to get the stock that people don't really want. Um, it is what it is. We thought we'll show you what it was like. All right, next shop. What we're we going in? Let's have a look down here. Okay, we're going to have a quick look in sketches. Vicky's got some on her feet at the moment, actually. See if anything jumps out. So they have 50% off your second pair here. So you have to pay the original price on the first pair. Make you show your shoes off to the camera. They're nice ones. I can't really see any nicer than them in here. Okay, so that's what you have to kind of look out for them deals where it says 50% off your second pair. It's not your first pair. You have to obviously buy the first pair full price, which it's not exactly a sale, is it? It's not exactly an outlet, but make sure you have a look out for that if you do come to the outlets. Okay, Vicky spotted this jewellery shop, of course. So, receiving an additional 50% off. Looks quite cool in here, to be fair. Okay, so we're back. He's got herself a tray. Okay, a very successful shop there for Vicky. Oh, She's yeah. bought herself four items. Really good in that shop, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. And um, it was something that I wanted to like stumble upon. I feel like yeah. I needed some new jewellery, but I didn't want to spend a hell of a lot. So it was literally perfect. It literally just sprung upon us, didn't it? As soon as we walked past, we yeah. were like, oh, so cute. Yeah, we started in, we just thought, and to be fair, inside there was a bit for everyone wasn't there there was yeah. big jewelry there was yeah. like staple and then there was the small Everything. bits and it was huge yeah and you like the small dainty like dainty, yeah a little bit of sparkle yeah. and that's what you've gone for haven't you yes. now we will show you that later on in the vlog when we can get it all out but for now we're going to carry on our shopping let's go and see what pops up next so we've ended up in reebok and we've just spotted these graphic tees which are 9.99 so 
So I've picked myself up this top, which is $9.99. And then we've also seen this top here now. It's about $40, but you can take an extra 60% off, which is quite good, that. But they only have like the larger sizes, so extra large or double XL. Okay, Danny has made a purchase. Yeah, I'll show you the top there. $9.99, it came to 10, 10 64. 64, yeah, which is about eight, eight pound. I mean, for a graphic tee, it's, it's really nice color. The reason yeah. why I bought it as well is because my club that I support back on Bolton Wanderers is the exact same color. And obviously if you know Bolton, these these sponsored by Reebok when they were younger, younger, ages ago. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really good. Valentine's Day spent right. Wait till we get worth it. Oh yeah, it's Valentine's Day. It is. You just remember. <laughs> Must have had a good morning then with me. <laughs> Bath and Modiwitz is coming soon, mate. Oh, is that my treat? Ooh, you never know, you never know. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. I'll, I'll spoil you in um, Primark when we get on. <laughs> you do have H&M in here, yeah, but I don't think we're going to bother with that. We're going to continue down here. Puma, Adidas, Nike. Okay, let's have a quick look inside Adidas and then we'll head into Nike. So I just come out of Adidas, nothing much in there was there. I was looking for some socks that I had, but they weren't on the sale this time, they were full price. So we're gonna head into Nike, let's see what the prices are like in there. So I just come out of Nike then. Again, not really successful. I mean, everything in there seems quite, quite expensive really yeah. for what it was. Yeah. We were checking the socks, like the Nike socks, like, like I said, and they were about $30, weren't they? For a packet of six, which you can get online back home for about 20 possibly. Um, so we're not we're not really going to get anything from there. We're going to head back down here. I can see Under Armour coming up now. Usually Under Armour is quite a good shop, so we'll let you know what that's like inside. Okay, here we are at Under Armour. Let's see what it's like in here. So here is your women's project rock clothing at Under Armour, and then they also have these t-shirts, which are two for twenty-five dollars. And here's the men's project rock. That jacket's really nice, thirty percent off as well. They also have these men's t-shirts, which are two for $25, which is a really good deal. And a few more graphic tees, two for 25 again. Really good price to be fair. See, I really like this jacket here. You can take an extra 20% off, but it is $85 on its own before. So it would only come to about $69 before tax, which I still think is a little bit too expensive. Okay, so we're just coming out of Under Armour. I think that's the first time I've ever come out of Under Armour without buying anything, especially in these outlets. I usually get some really good stuff in there. Um, they did have like two for 25 which on tees, which is really good price. Um, but I've got most of the tees in there. I bought a lot in the past, so... Next shop is in the distance, Vic. What is it? Can you see it there? Yee, Vicky's excited. Okay, here we are. Look at Vicky, you get to get in. She's straight in. Go. Right, what we're we looking for, Vic? The pocket back hand sanitizer. I think they are over there in the distance from what I remember last time I came in the shop. So today it is buy one, get one free on all the candles, and it also is five for 27 on hand soaps. Okay, so it's five for eight dollars on all pocket backs. Vicky's gonna go on a spree. <laughs> it's a really good price, actually, because in England they're about, I think it's five for 15 quid. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, Vicky's looking for one of these pocket back holders as well. I do have so, one. Yeah, she has this one, but it's a bit too Christmassy, isn't it? Yeah, so we're going to have to look for something else. I love that they have these hand washing stations as well where you can try all the hand soap. Some nice gift box here as well. So you get shower gel, body cream, hand gel, and uh, spray, I think. Body spray in a bag. We'll see how much these are. So they are about $39, which is a really good price, actually. So just spotted these as well. So you have pocket back, hydrating cream, and stress relief spray. Yeah, that's really cool. Huh? And that is $15.95. We have well and truly been splashing out, and Vicky's going for more. <laughs> Is that the longest receipt you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> Vicky's well and truly splashed out. It came to a total of 99, 99.84. Now, I did get presents for my mum as well. Yeah. Vicky's got some, quite a lot for herself. Yeah, that's Vicky's. That's my presents for my mum. And obviously there are the two other bags that we've got. 
now remember we're going to show you a little haul when we get back to our room um, later in the vlog <laughs> okay so it's coming up to about 12 o'clock now so what we're going to do is we're going to head out of the outlets we're going to head back see that <laughs> we're going to head back on the uh, bus that we got this morning which is the i trolley um, and we're going to head back to our hotel we're going to grab a subway now we have a, we've had a look at the food options here but there's only five guys really and we don't really fancy a five guy just because We've had burgers and stuff, we've got fancy yeah. something slightly different, a little bit more Not feeling. Sandwiches. Yeah, sandwiches. So we're going to go for a subway, which is right near our hotel, yeah. um, and then we're going to head back towards here later. <laughs> Vicky's crashing decisions. <laughs> just, you know, when after you've spent loads and you think, what have I done? <laughs> but then I know I won't be right. Yeah, you, you'll use it all, it's the good initial, stuff. The first cut is the deepest. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it stings when it first comes out, <laughs> but it's alright. Once I start using them, I'll be happy. Yeah, well, I was going to say, the reason why we're heading back to the outlets later on is because we're actually going to go to the mall at Millennia, and we thought we might as well get our uh, taxi from here, just because it'd probably be a little bit cheaper. It's right next to the mall at Millennia, it's yeah. probably only about five minutes away. Yeah. So let's go and head back on the i trolley, back to International Drive, and then we'll grab our subway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the coach now, the bus. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know where I got my tickets from. So we bought our tickets on Florida Ticks online and we got it for £10 for two weeks unlimited travel. Can't argue with that, can you? It goes up and down from one outlet to the other, all the way up International Drive. So especially if you stay on International Drive, it's a really good thing to do. Okay, so we've just got off our eye trolley bus and you can see Subway is literally just across the road there. So we're going to cross over here and go and grab our Subway. Okay, so Subway secured. Um, we got an Italian BMT basically. Now that came to $10.84 for a foot long. Not too bad. I mean, obviously slightly more expensive than England prices, but not the worst. We're going to see how it, how it compares to the English one now. There was a, we normally get Southwest Chipotle sauce, but this one was called Baja Chipotle. What <laughs> they do that? Put the sauce on like it was coming out of his wages. <laughs> it, was, it was like, it was like, ooh. But because it was a different sauce to what we used to, I didn't, I didn't say, oh, can yeah. I have some more? Because we don't know if it's going to blow our heads off. So in a way, it was quite good. But... Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll let you know what it tastes like once we get back to the room. Yeah, Vicky's going in for the subway. Good stuff, you said, yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you rate it compared to the English one? British. We've got like nine. 8.5. So English is better? Why? Just because I'm used to it. You know what I mean? What do you think about the sauce? The sauce is good, yeah. Yeah, a little bit spicier, I think, but it's still good. All right, we'll enjoy our subway. Mine's a mess, but we'll enjoy our subway and then we'll catch you once we're finished. Okay, so subway demolished. How was that, Vic? Amazing. It was so nice, like way better than the UK, I'd say. After eating the full thing, I can truly say it's better than the UK. Yeah, I don't know, so what, I don't know what it is, but... It just tasted like a lot fresher. Yeah. Weirdly, like it tasted more like a sandwich. Yeah. Just, yeah. It was really nice. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed our sandwich. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you our outlet haul. Oh! Part, part one, though, part one. Oh, yeah, part one. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see what we've got. Let's start with mine. Yeah. My one and only piece. I think I showed you what that was. <laughs> It's the uh, the Reebok top that I showed you. Well, yeah, we won't go into too much detail with that. Yeah. We'll show you what it looked like. We'll put that to the side. Okay. Next thing. Right, we'll start with jewelry. I think. Mimic, beaut, beaut, beauterias. And it came in this really cute little like Chinese takeaway box. How cute is that? 
Right, let me open it up. Hold on, the map's here, thing. There's the map. I thought I lost it. So the total of all this came to 51.97, and that was for four items. So let's That's with tax included. That well. is tax included, yeah. Okay. So she actually said because it's Valentine's Day, so it looks like inside, because it's Valentine's Day, she said, choose one of those little cards and we'll put it in. So it's a little, cute little card and it says, if I could have anyone in the world, it would still be you. Happy Valentine's Aww. Day. That is cute. Who said, who, who picked that? Me. For who? Me. Picked it for yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> who bought it? Me. For who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day! Day. <laughs> and then they all come like individually wrapped in these little bits of tissue paper. So the first thing I'm getting is the next Okay, this is the first piece. Let me lay it down here. So I got this necklace. So it's like a little star. Um, I wouldn't really say it's a cross. It was next to crosses, but... No, it is. It's a star. It's a you star, that, it isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a stack. It's got the diamond in the middle. I shining. just thought it looked it looked really nice, and I always say that the people that have passed away become stars, so I thought that's quite sweet. Um, so I got that one, and the next piece I got was this little bangle. So it's quite nice and dainty. Just got some stones in the top, little bangle. I just thought that looked quite cute because I've not got any bracelets at the minute that are gold, so I thought that would look quite nice. So the necklace came to $14.95 um, and the bangle was also $14.95. Then we've got these little hoops, which I thought were really cute. Because I have three piercing holes in my ears, so I needed some new ones to freshen that up because one of them broke. <laughs> Sad. Um, and they were actually $3.95 down from $7.90, which is great. Love that. Um, and then lastly, these ones, these are for my thirds, but they're really cute, little dainty. I'll like, show you earrings that you have at the moment. Drop. I've got these ones, so they've got little pearls in them. So it kind of kind of matches it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and so you're going to have them, were... them in your first, them in your second, and then them in the thirds. Yeah, and they were 14 95 these ones. So that was very successful, very happy with all that. Yeah. Now, what's next? You know what's next. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> okay, so this is what I got for my mum. Now, I got the five pocket bags for $8, and then three of these because Vicky also got three separate things, and it all came. Well, you got buy free, get free, yeah, free. Which is an amazing deal, but <clears throat> yeah. I forgot to mention that that one is actually for Oh, yeah, I got. I, treat, <laughs> I treated myself. I thought, why not? I'm always asking for Vicky, so yeah. got my own now. <laughs> now, just quickly, I'll run through the pocket back. So we have one vanilla sugar. Champagne toast, in the stars, and the thousand wishes. And I know my mum loves all of them, so I thought I'd get you that. Now, before we touch on these, we asked a um, woman who was working there for a certain thing, yes. which is Dream Bright. Now, if you ever heard of Dream Bright before, it's probably the best, the best smelling one in there. We yeah. we love it. Um, so we, we asked, oh, do, we, do you have any Dream Bright? What did the woman say? Discontinued. You what? I know. Discontinued. It's so sad. I was like, oh, and even she was shocked. Yeah. She said it was the best scent. So yeah. that's really sad. But So they discontinued it like a month ago or something, which is, I can't yeah, believe that. We kept wondering why we weren't seeing it everywhere. Like it was kind of like whittling down in the amount of like places that had it and the amount of things that they had in that scent. But I thought it was a fairly new scent. So I was yeah. wondering why it had gone. But anyway. Hey, we're not spot oh, through. Sorry. <laughs> All right. <excited>. So... <laughs> We got, I got this from my mum because I know she's been using it. Um, so it's at the beach. It's literally like sand. It smells like yeah. what you think it smells like. Um, and that's a body scrub. So obviously when you're in the shower and you may be removing tan or stuff, yeah. you might use that. Now, I also <laughs> got champagne toast body wash because... She got a mini one, didn't she, from like Secret Santa at work. And then she gave that to Danny to yeah, bring here. Yeah, I've been using it all the time. So I thought, so, repay the favour, yeah. buy her a bigger version. And then I also got this. This is a new one, I think. Mm -hmm. I've not seen this one before. It did smell really nice, so. Yes, I spotted it, didn't I? And I got it out and yeah. had a sniff. <laughs> yeah, we, so we, thought, we thought she'd like that. Yeah, I thought she'd like that. And obviously mine, I got the Ocean, which is like a male scent. And that smells really nice, actually. It smells a bit like aftershave. Mm. All right, on to Vicky's. <laughs> okay, look at this. <laughs> All right, where do you want to start, Vic? Let's start at the back. So 
This is the Meet Me in Miami body cream. Same as the one that we got. Well, Danny the other one's body lotion, that's yes, body cream. slightly different, but same They're same. pretty much the same, yeah. Um, and then I picked up one vanilla sugar body spray. I haven't actually got a body spray from Bath & Body Works, but I love one vanilla sugar as a scent, as you'll see when we go on. Um, shower gel, one vanilla sugar as well. Um, again, speaks for itself, I love it. Then I got a little hand cream. Now, this is a new scent from Bath & Body Works. It's tropidelic. And it smells like, if you've ever smelled the Gucci perfume, I don't know if it's Gucci Flora, it comes in like a pink square rectangular bottle. It literally smells exactly like that and I used to have that. Really nice. <laughs> this is cute. Now this, if you've watched earlier on in the vlog, um, you'll have seen that obviously I do, oh, I can't show it, it's over there. I have um, a little pocket back holder. We did show it on the vlog. Yeah. Well, that's um, gingerbread one, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a more Christmassy winter. type of one, winter. So I decided to go for this one. <laughs> so it's like a pineapple cocktail. Like a, yeah, little cocktail. Brilliant. It's so cute. So that's my summer one now, so I'll keep switching them. And then I got 10 pocket backs. So I think we've got cucumber melon. That one's really nice and fresh. Uh, Japanese cherry blossom. We've got raspberries and vanilla. I've never seen that one. No, I think um, that's a new one as well. We've got two champagne toasts. Forgot I picked up two. Two one vanilla sugars because they're a staple. We've got thousand wishes. Sorry, that one's in the stars. I think. Oh, is Ricky, it? Ricky oh. confused it with that oh, one. Sorry. We have got two one vanilla sugars. There you go. Um, in I the stars. See. A thousand wishes and fresh rainfall. Yep. So that is my haul. It doesn't seem like a lot. Let me get back over there. Looking at it now for how much we spent, but I'm happy. No, it is. The, the stuff's really good. It's, it's such good quality. It smells so nice. Like even when I put some of that hand sanitizer on in work, my manager goes, Who sprayed something? It smells well nice. I'm like, Oh, it's just my hand sanitizer. Yeah, no. like, They're so worth it. So I'm, I'm happy I spent that money. Um, and we're going to start putting all these on now because I can't wait. Okay, so Vicky has got her jewellery in. Just thought we'd show you. So, show oh. the necklace first. <laughs> <laughs> that's the necklace. Yep, I see the bangle. That's cute. Look at it. We've got it on as well. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. In the drop, big island. In the drop, big island. So then next. Yeah, I'll leave that one there. Yeah. <laughs> it goes so nice. So you got the thirds, seconds, first. These are the ones she's bought today. That one and that one. She already had them. You can see how they kind Max. Of... Jesus, that was a close up zoom up. <laughs> <laughs> TJ Max. TK. Not TJ. Oh. Not in not in America. Oh. But yeah, we got got these. Look really nice. I'm very happy. Yeah, what we're we gonna You've do. Got now? So far. What are we doing now? We are going back to the outlets. We're going to do a couple more shops that we've had. There's only a few, isn't there? Yeah, we're just going to probably be in and out of them because there's nothing really that we want to buy like we were doing at Bath & Body Works. And then from there, we're then going to go to Mall at like Millennia. What? Mall at Millennia. There we go. <laughs> and continue shopping there. And I am going to splash the cash at Mall at Millennia. So come with us. Wait, where are you going to Mall at Millennia? Mall at Millennia. Mall at Millennia. Sephora. And that is where it all goes wrong. My friends. Because I can't wait to show you what I'm going to buy from Mall at Millennia. Oh, I'm so excited. 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 I'm so so you can basically see what's coming. So, oh, there's a bus coming now, stand up. <laughs> really? Really, man? <laughs> so good. Don't think this is ours, no. <laughs> there we go, here it comes in the distance. Okay, so we've made it back to the outlets. I think the first stop is going to be Victoria Secrets, just because it's right here. Um, I don't think we're looking for anything in particular, but I think it is supposed to be a really good outlet with a couple of body sprays and stuff. Yeah. So I think Vicky might be interested in seeing that. <laughs> Are you trying to push me to spend money? I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> you got the money, you got the money, sure. Your choice. True. <laughs> yeah, let's go and enjoy the outlets. Okay, so we thought we'll spot this old, old Navy outlet. We thought we'll have a look inside. There's supposed to be some good stuff in here, so we'll show you any bits that do pop up. So straight away up to 75% off clearance. 
So the prices in here are actually really good. We're just in spotting some graphic tees and they're about $9 each. Uh, so some good pricing. Not spotted anything that I like yet, but some good stuff. So this is what I came in to look at, the graphic tees. So you can see like a Mickey Mouse one there already, which let's check the price of that for us a bit. Oh, you got ET one as well. So there's some good stuff here, we'll, we'll show you. So you got a Mickey Mouse top here. That is 19.99, but you got 30% off as well. That's so cute. So yeah, that's really good, that. And look at this ET one as well. Just unfold that for us a bit. Oh, that's so cute. I quite like that one, actually. That's actually nice, that's that. That's really cute. It is, isn't it? Yeah. That's probably the best ET top I've seen, because I was looking for one. Oh, actually, that. Yeah. How much is it? 19.99. They're all 19.99. So 30% off is six quid, so about... $15 with tax included, not bad actually. Yeah, I've got Mario ones, Simpsons ones as well. Uh, Biggie Small, <laughs> X-Men. Some really some really nice designs actually. So I'm actually gonna go for this ET top. I think it's quite good, I can wear that when I go to Universal. So successful little shop there at Old Navy. It actually just worked it out as a £11.85 that, which really good that for the, the quality as well. So we just popped into the shop called Stone Age and Vicky spotted this little necklace for her mum. But it's all, it's really peaceful. It's loads of nice stone stuff in here. So this is a shop we just went into, Stone Age. Definitely recommend it if you're into like your stones and stuff. It's a really cool shop. Vicky got a present for her mum, yeah. which we showed you that necklace. Right, we're gonna head into Victoria's Secrets now. Okay, let's head inside. So already it's pretty crazy in here, you can see how busy it is, but the prices are really good. $4.99 for some body creams. Okay, so we've just come out of Victoria's Secrets. Brilliant, Brilliant prices and stuff in there, if but... After, if you're after body sprays and like, lotions and things, it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, underwear, whatever, but the, uh, how busy was it in there? Yeah, it is. It's too too busy for us, so we, we just came out and just thought we'd leave it because we wasn't looking for anything specific, were we? Yeah. Just to have a look at it and see what the prices were like. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see what pops up next. I think we're nearly finished here, by the way. Yeah. We've only got maybe two more shops I wanted to look at, and then and then we're off to the mall, yeah. aren't you? So you can see it's starting to get a lot busier here now. So I think we're just going to do final two shops and then head out. Okay, so the second to last shop we're going to go into is Columbia. Okay, so not a successful shop in Columbia. There wasn't much to look at. The prices were still quite expensive. Um, and the final shop is going to be Aeropostale, which is literally just on the corner here. Okay, so here we are at Aeropostale. Aeropostale, how do you say it, right? I said Aeropostale, but Vicky said it's Aeropostale. Yeah. Let us know in the, let us know in the comments. Anyways, we're going in. <laughs> so even before you enter, you can see 50% to 70% off the entire store. Some nice little racing tops here as you, as you enter. Vicky just spotted this Disney top, 50% off, which is about oh, 12 quid, 12 dollars, sorry, not bad. Okay, so not a successful shop there, but some, some, nice some nice things, yeah, some good prices. Definitely recommend look, having a look in there, uh, but just didn't. Um, to find anything that we actually like but it was actually a good shop there was some nice um, graphic stuff as well yeah what we're going to do now is we're going to dra grab an uber to the mall at Melania. okay so we made it into the mall at Melania. we got our uber that cost us nine dollars to get from the outlets to the mall at Melania. Um, and now we're just going to have a look around. I think Vicky's looking for Sephora, which I think is upstairs if I remember rightly. So, uh, so we've got the escalators here yes. behind us. Yeah. yeah, let's go and have a look around. How lovely is the atmosphere in here? It's lovely. Like, compared to Trafford Centre, if you've been to the Trafford Centre, you'll know it's just so busy. Everyone's walking quick, everyone's like dodging each other, everyone's getting annoyed and really hot and worked up. Here, everyone's literally sauntering. You like, can see, look at the speed of everyone walking. Right. You don't feel the need to go quick. Yeah. Because everybody else is just calm. Yeah. It's nice. No, it's not it? screaming kids either. Yeah, that's, that's the good thing, though. No, <laughs> no, kids. But no, it's really, really good atmosphere in here. So, yeah, Vicky's favourite. Alright. I'll say goodbye to Vicky for 10 minutes, 15, 20. 
half an hour, who knows. <laughs> okay, a very successful shot for Vicky at Sephora. Again. She got everything I wanted. So. Yeah, we'll show, we'll show you what she's got later on. Um, we're just going to continue to Macy's. I think Vicky wants to have a quick look in there. They do have a Bath and Body Works as well, but I think the deals are exactly the same as in the outlet. So, yeah, so if you want to come to the Bath and Body Works as well, and it's pr pr probably a nicer experience, you can come <laughs> to Mortal than here. Right, let's go ahead to Macy's. What do you say, Vic? I've never spent so much money on the makeup. I never, I never spend money on makeup. You never do, I do you? I know. Like presents, or I just buy whatever's cheapest. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day. You're on your holidays. <laughs> so I've literally just been in and out of Macy's. We didn't really see anything that Vicky wanted, so we didn't vlog any of that. I have to watch it as well with the music as well with copyright, so I sometimes can't show you as much as I'd like to. We do have the cheesecake factory here as well, which we will be visiting on another later date, but we're going to be heading out of the Mall of Millennia now. Okay, so we're back at the hotel now. So we grabbed the Uber from Mall of Millennia straight mm -hmm. back to our hotel. Just because of price and time, mm -hmm. there wasn't much difference between getting it back to the outlets and then yeah. grabbing the eye trolley. So we thought we might as well just get an Uber straight back to the hotel. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab a bit of food. Vicky's yeah. going to get changed for tonight. I'm not told you what we're doing yet tonight. Ooh. But Vicky's going to get changed for tonight and I'm going to go and grab some food. I'm going to go to the world's biggest McDonald's, which is on our on our street, basically, okay. International Drive. Um, and I'm not sure what we're going to get. I'm going to have That's a look really at the menu easy, when we yeah. get there and I'll show you all the little bits that we are going to get. I think we're going to get a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, try, a different, try a couple of different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Sounds good. But yeah, tonight we're going to be going to Orlando Magic. I, can't, I don't know if you can tell by the T-shirt. <laughs> we're going to go to Orlando Magic, so interesting um i'm really looking forward to yeah. that it's going to be good watch, yes. i watched it last year with my family it's a really good experience but i'm looking I've forward never, to seeing vicky yeah. watching it yeah it's really good so you've got that to look forward to later mm -hmm. but first come and join me on my way to mcdonald's vicky's gonna stay here I am. <laughs> okay so i'm here at the world's biggest mcdonald's if you watched our travel day video we came here for the pizzas and that's what all we've mentioned our holiday is how good the pizzas are so what we're going to try today is probably some pasta and a couple of other things. Let's show you what we got. So here's what I'm going for. I'm going for linguine pasta with bolognese sauce, then just a hamburger with extra pickles for Vicky, and then a crispy meal which has extra pickles on it again. And we're going for medium fries and a medium southern style sweet tea. And that comes to 27.13. Okay, so I've brought the food back. Vicky's gonna give the pasta a go. It also comes with like a little slice of garlic bread. What's the garlic bread like? It's okay. Yeah, not actually bad. Mmm. Do you know what? That's not bad. Yeah. That's really not bad. I was expecting a lot worse. Don't look too bad to be fair. Mm. Excuse the mess as well. We're getting changed ready for ready for our night. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, good. I also went for that McCrispy extra pickles and they've finally put them on this time, haven't they? <laughs> Thankfully. Okay, so we've got a little story for you just before we head out to the game. Now, on our way back to the hotel, mm -hmm. I spotted a cleaner and we needed something from the cleaner. Yeah. Um, basically, we, we've been having our Do Not Disturb sign on the door um, just because we prefer to keep our room tidy ourselves. We, we don't want to really hassle the, the cleaners making them come in all the time. Um, we only really need towels most it's of the time, don't we? It's necessary sometimes in having them in every day. Yeah. It's not so, necessary. anyways, what did we need from the cleaner? We needed toilet roll. <laughs> um, so Danny walks past the cleaner and he goes, Oh, I he remembers. So he turns around and he goes, Oh, excuse me. He says, Have you got any toilet roll? She goes, Huh? He goes, Toilet roll, and he goes to do an action of wipe. <laughs> and I was stood there, I was thinking, no, please don't. And he goes, toilet roll, you know. And I was like, no, <laughs> please. <don't." laughs> and he goes, and then he spots one on the trolley and he goes, this. And I was thinking, oh, oh my God. I fully thought he was going to do the action of wipe. A full wipe. A full wipe. <laughs> a full like squat and wipe. 
And I was thinking, oh my God. How, how else would you describe it? And I said, I said to him, I was like, Danny, were you about to do an action? That after we walked <laughs> off with our toilet roll. And I was like, are we going to do an action with that to tell her what it was? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I don't laugh yeah. like that. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A little bit. I do know. But he was going to. In action. That's if you're actually going to do it. He was like, yeah, there's no way else to explain <laughs> no, it. No, <laughs> backing myself up, how the hell else would no, you do it? No, it's fair. It yeah, is right. Fair. How do you describe toilet roll? Roll, you wipe your bottom with <laughs> Yeah, but what do what they call in America? The toilet paper? Toilet paper, yeah. yeah. So it's not toilet roll. If, you, if you're looking yeah. for some toilet roll, ask for toilet paper toilet over paper, here. Yeah, anyways, let's go and get our final stuff together and let's head to the game. Okay, so we've had our food. Food was okay. Yeah. Wasn't as good as the McDonald's pizza, but it was all right, the pasta. Um, yeah, we've ordered our Uber. It's cost us $19 to get to the Kia Centre, it's called now. It used to be called the Amway mm -hmm. Centre. They changed the name to the Kia Centre. Um, so, yeah, we're going. That's where we're heading now to so watch the Orlando Magic game. They are playing against the New York Knicks, so it should be a good game. Okay, so we've just been dropped off by the taxi. We're going to enter via the main entrance and we'll show you our seats once we're in.
the basketball game. Really good game, we'll tell you all about it when we get back. But we're just waiting for our Uber now. It cost us $27 this time. Let's go magic! Let's go magic! Orlando. Orlando. Which is your favorite? The referee sucks. The referee yeah, that sucks. One, that one's the referee awful. sucks. Yeah. Anyways, we're now back into our room. We've had a brilliant time watching Orlando Magic. It was brilliant, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, like jokes aside, it was so much entertainment. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're not into basketball at all, Vicky's not into it really, are you? Never it's... really shown interest in it much, have I? Did you enjoy it? I did, yeah, I did. I think because there's so much going on during, in between, like, there's always just something going on. Yeah. It's so fun to watch. And I was saying to Danny during, he said it's been an hour since the game started and it literally felt like it had been 15 20 minutes it's yeah. it goes so fast i can't believe it but yeah very entertaining very very good yeah it's brilliant now before we do our end our video if you remember earlier on in the vlog we have a bit of a haul to show you Ooh, especially yeah. this sephora that vicky got how much do you spend don't know 237 pounds <laughs> and there's not even that much to show for it um, oh, wait, how much? $237. Thank you. Oh, that sucks dollars though, so it'd be alright. Well, Monopoly money. Oh, yeah, Monopoly say. money, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> alright, let's show this stuff over. Oh, I was going to say a vlog then. Vlog? Oh. Hey, here we go. So inside this small bag is $237 worth of... In there? I, I know. You'll be shocked. Okay. Now, first to, thing... To be fair, all the things that you got, just to point out, Vicky need is like she Vicky in yeah. my opinion Vicky never spends on makeup and you hardly wear it as well do you? Yeah, I, d I never spend on it. I never treat myself to it. It's either I think I mentioned before like I only ever get it for presents or if I do buy makeup it's never expensive. Yeah. Um, and I actually didn't bring any with me. Yeah. I literally just brought like basics and that was it. So I thought you know what I'm gonna treat myself for I earned it. You know. Yeah. Let's so, get on with the the haul. First things first is the Sephora Essential Face Brush Set. So it comes with five brushes. Your blusher brush, contour brush, foundation brush, um, highlight and concealer. And that so came to? That came to... $39 before tax, I think. Yes, correct. $39. Next we have this. Now, I have used all these, but I've put them all back in the packaging. Can you not tell she's used it? Look at that face. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit rough because we've been at it, but here we are. Um, Beauty Blender, Powder Puff, got that. That was $18, yeah, $18. Then we have the Huda Beauty um, Press Powder, and that is in the shade Pound Cake. That's supposed to be really no, good. I did try it. I'm not sure if I'm 100% keen on it yet, but I am gonna keep trying it and give it a fair shot, because it might just have been the way I used it. It might just have been the way that I used it, I'm not sure, but that's that one. Uh, and that one was... That one was $38 before tax. Next up, we have the Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil in the shade... That was a tongue twister. I know. Um, in the shade 4.5 Neutral Deep Brown, and I've used that on my eyebrows, and I really, really like it. So it's got a little really fine pencil on one end and then on the other end is a brush and it just works really well. I love it. And that was $26 before tax. Next up we have this little blusher. I never really wear blush. This one's like a bit of a risk for me, but I actually really like how it looks. Um, Sephora own, isn't it? Sephora's own brand, yeah. yeah. Again, um, looks like that. Nice little peachy pink colour. Um, and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. That's in the shade 48 Free Spirit. And that was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that was $18. I can't see it, but anyway. Next up, foundation. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, it's got SPF 50, anti-aging, colour correcting. It's full coverage. Now, I don't usually go for full coverage foundations, but I've heard a lot of good things about this. I decided to do it. Um, that was forty-seven dollars, which obviously is a bit pricey, but this is one hundred percent worth the money. It is so good. 
so so good and it literally gets rid of any redness anything it's it's so good and that's in the shade fair light then, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna interrupt. Oh, you're living your dream here, aren't you? I literally am. I love doing these. Doing, doing like a YouTube yeah. haul of makeup. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, if you want more, let me know. <laughs> okay. Next up, and lastly, we have the Lancome um, Care and Glow Serum Concealer. Oh. Um, yep. Bougie Lancome. Let me show you. Let me get it out. So, what's the zest coming to? This one, was, to be fair, this one wasn't too bad. That was 29 For Lancome, I'm actually quite impressed. That's why I got it, because I've heard some good things about it. Um, so that's what that one looks like. It's got a little rose on top. And that was in the shade 125W. Um, so it's a fairly light shade. And that was everything, but I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I did it. That's, the main, that's the main thing, though. isn't it? I wouldn't do it at home. And I said this to Danny, I said, he was saying, oh, could you get it cheaper at home, blah, blah, blah. But I said, but I, I wouldn't want to buy it at home. It wouldn't have the same feel to it. Plus, most of the stuff you won't be able to get at home. Just... Exactly. So a lot of the ones that I chose to get, for example, the It Cosmetics and the brushes and Sephora and brand stuff, I wouldn't be able to get those at home. Not and yet. Just, What's coming to Traffic Centre is the Sephora. Sephora is coming to Traffic Centre, which is very dangerous. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, no, I'm happy with everything. I'm glad I did it here. I wouldn't want to do it at home. And it was worth it, in my opinion. Now, what, what did we say as well? If you if you have seen our Discovery Cove vlog, yeah. we were going to spend about yes, 270 280 dollars on it. some photos. Yeah, so that's kind of your treat then, isn't it? it Just is. to go. Well, I was going to spend that anyway, so yeah. monopoly money so, again. There you go. <laughs> and I work hard for it. So. You do. You do. But work. You work very hard. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. So that's going to conclude our lovely day today. Yeah. It's been brilliant, hasn't it's it? It's been I mean, really nice. Yeah. We're fitting quite a lot as well. Yeah. Orlando International Premium Outlets. Uh -huh. Subway. Uh -huh. International Premium Outlets uh -huh. again. Yeah. Mall at Millennia. Yeah. And then Orlando Magic. Yeah. yeah. Quite a lot. Good day. Done. Spent a lot on Ubers. Got some interesting Uber rides. Yeah. Tell you what, there's so many people who just speed up and then slow down. Speed up, slow down. Mm. Drive smoothly, smoothly. I know. What's the, what's You've the noticed hell? the difference. I mean, I know obviously there's well, compared some... Compared to what we drive like, isn't it? Yeah, there's some questionable drivers in the UK. However, I think the, the driving's a lot more aggressive here and not so much anticipatory, is it? Like, the way we drive compared to the way that yeah. people drive over here is very different. I mean, there's a couple of times when we've seen the cars are like we're, stopped in front of them. Like, and the, the car's speeding up, not, yeah. even, like, not even slowing down at all. Yeah. And we're like... Me and Vicky's like pressing the brake, pressing the brake in the back seat. Faces were like proper backseat drivers, aren't oh, we? Oh yeah, but we never say anything. We never. No. No, it's just I think we. I mean, they get us there in one piece, don't they? Well, yeah, I'm glad to still be here, <laughs> but take it as a positive. Yeah, no, Uber's a great thing. It's it's a great option if you it don't is. want to hire a car or you can't. So. Yeah, I just meant just to let you meant uh, just let you know <laughs> that we left the Orlando Magic mm -hmm. game quite early. To make sure we obviously booked the Uber yeah. and it came because it took about 20 minutes for the Uber to come. Luckily, we came out early yeah. because then we kind of avoided the traffic a little bit, didn't we? Ever so slightly, yeah. So that was good. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, we're rambling on. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. And if you have, don't forget to drop us a like, Please. comment any questions down below, anything about our day or any questions about Vicky's makeup. <laughs> if you like Please. makeup, yeah. Please do it. Vicky really wants to ask some <laughs> questions. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but yeah, main thing is subscribe. We've still got a couple more videos to come from Florida. Yep. Um, and obviously, if you have enjoyed our Florida series, then maybe we'll come back in the future and do another series. Who knows? Yes. Please. So subscribe. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, tomorrow is going to be Disney Springs. So if you like your Disney stuff, yes. that's where we're off to tomorrow. I'm showing you everything. Tune in yeah. next week. Yeah. Thank you all for watching and roll on the next one. Bye. Thank <music> you.